Hey there friends, it's Megan Andrew with you and today I'm creating an 8.5 inch by 11 inch layout with a focus on stamping a background. I'm using this awesome set from Tailored Expressions. It's called Shades of Summer and it um, there's a stamp and a coordinating die. I really, really love this set. It's great for not only cards, but your layouts. And I'm going to show you that today. I have a four inch by six inch photo already. And I have gone ahead and framed my layout with uh, white cardstock, nice smooth white cardstock. And I've put a navy border behind it. Let's get out my die cutting machine. This is my Platinum 6 machine from Spellbinders. And I am going to create a fun little accent first. The first thing I'm going to do is use the uh, solid sunglasses to cut out a plain white piece of those sunglasses. I'm going to create a really fun accent with some deco foil, some products from Thermoweb. And it's going to create like a custom embellishment for this layout, but I need to give it some drying time. So I'm going to do that first. So I have my solid white sunglasses here that I cut using the Tailored Expressions die. And now I'm using the deco foil adhesive pen and some deco foil to create something really fun. So the first thing that you want to do when you pull out this adhesive pen, this is such a fun product, is just prime it. And that generally means holding the nib down so that the adhesive can start to flow through the nib. So just grabbing a piece of scratch paper and just pressing that down. Then I'm going to, you know, use it like a marker, use it like a marker and color over where the, uh, the in, in the frame of the sunglasses. So you can try uh, tapping it, you can, rub it like like you would a regular marker. Just try to get that surface as covered as you can with the pen. If you um, also have like a glimmer machine and you wanted to do something similar, you could also use a solid plate there to get full coverage of your foil. Okay, now we're going back to our layout. So I'm putting my layout background that has that nice smooth white cardstock in my large Misty. This is a scrapbooking Misty. It's sized for 12 by 12. I love it for this type of project. I don't pull it out very often, but when I am stamping a background or stamping on, on my layout, this is a great product to use because if it doesn't get right the first time, you know, your stamped image just doesn't come out as dark as you want, you can just stamp it again and know that you uh, will be in the, the exact same place. The other helpful thing that this is for is for just um, getting things set where you want them. So the way I'm going to do this, because I want a nice long row of sunglasses, I'm starting at the top and then I'm going to the bottom. My next frame that I stamp will be directly in the center. So I am finding my center point, putting my sunglasses in that center point, and then inking up. So I'm using a few different uh, manufacturers inks here just to get all the colors from my photo that I wanted. So I'm using uh, Close to My Heart, and Concord and Ninth. And the color that I'm using from Concord and Ninth is probably one of my favorites. It's called Stardust. It's that citrine kind of yellow color. So definitely wanna make sure that I am lining everything up um, exactly as it is in the other stamped images. I'm going to the midpoint again of the two sunglasses there. So, you know, I stamped the top and the bottom, then I found the midpoint of those. Then I'm finding the midpoint between the two at the bottom, and then I'll find the midpoint between uh, those two. <laughs> so it just makes for a really nice, even uh, column of those sunglasses. I chose all of these colors directly from my photo. I was using the colors that um, 
you know, we were wearing in our bathing suits. You'll see that there is some palm trees in the background that have kind of that citrine kind of color. Um, and so always look at your photo to decide if there are colors in your photo that would work well to be stamped on your background because it automatically gives the perfect tie to the products you're using to your photo. So stamping is so much easier with these misties. I tell you, I uh, if you were using an acrylic block for this, it would be so much harder, especially because I really want these colors to be nice and saturated. So I am stamping them two, sometimes three times um, for that stardust color to make sure that I get a nice even coverage there. Okay, now that I have all my frames, how fun is that? Uh, those could be great for like, you know, a school page or something like that, but I want these to be sunglasses. So we are going to go in with a different color on each of these frames to fill in, um, to fill in the sunglasses. So I'm choosing the different patterns here. This one is a star. The first one I used was the palm trees, which is my favorite. I love that one. It just looks really cool. Um, you can use so many different color combinations to really make these super cool, you guys. This is um, definitely a set that would lend itself to a lot of creativity. Tr creativity. And if you look at the set, um, the, the sentiments on it, are great for card making or scrapbooking. You have stay cool, uh, good times, happy summer, sending sunshine, fun in the sun, your future looks bright. And then you have one that's great for cards, you brighten my day. So really, really fun set here. I highly recommend you checking that out in the Tailored Expressions shop. It is called Shades of Summer. So the tricky thing is when you are mixing and matching colors like this is making sure that you don't get two of the colors together. Sometimes that takes a bit of pre-planning. I didn't pre-plan for this layout, so I did just get lucky um, that you know when I stamped a blue, I didn't end up with a blue close to it. Um, you kind of have to think it through. When I when I stamp something like this on a background, I like to stick to um, three to four colors. So no more than that, because then it can get a little bit too much, too many colors. And it's a lot for you to t keep track of when you're, you know, trying to create a pattern, especially with colors. I didn't use all of the different um, backgrounds for the sunglasses. There is a stars and stripes one, polka dot, it's really fun. I love using that sapphire in, in those orange frames to make that navy, it looks really great. So there is my stamped background. So I started with stamps on this layout and to that, I'm going to add a few of my favorite papers. This is from the Crate Paper Here and There collection. This is one of those collections, you guys, that I am hoarding, so I use it sparingly. <laughs> I love this collection. It's from a couple of years ago. I taught a Cropping Creek class with it, and I just keep using these papers because I love them so much. So you'll see me add a little bit of uh, pattern paper borders here just to get those colors on the page. I'm not really trying to show off the patterns. I want to get a little bit of pattern since the background is so, you know, nice and clean and just get some of those colors around my photo to help that stand out a bit. This wood grain will also add uh, not only that nice kind of orangey hue, but um, some nice contrast there too. And I love a wood grain. Look how great that looks. Then I'm just distressing those edges. I mean, the majority of this page 
was done as soon as my stamping was done. This is really the easy part. So I hope uh, just seeing what you can do with a simple stamp set on a background will inspire you guys to give it a try, even if you're not a seasoned stamper. So now I just need to add a few more embellishments to this. I'm gonna be using the same crepe paper collection as well as um, the Vicki Booten Let's Wonder collection, which is another one that I am hoarding right now. I really like the elements in that collection. I'm cutting out this little palm tree here. It's a perfect color. It, it matches perfectly with the Stardust ink from um, Concord in Ninth. This is going to start off my title, Sending Love From. And we were in the Dominican, so um, I would call that DR, Dominican Republic. And so I'm going to make my title, Sending Love From DR. And this is one of my favorite photos taken from that trip. So here we go with a Vicki Booten collection. And this just shows you how well you can mix and match collections. And, you know, you can use old things with a new stamp and make it look fabulous. Okay, remember our sunglasses that we uh, used that deco, deco foil adhesive pen at the beginning? Well, I want to foil them, so I'm using some deco foil here from Thermoweb, and that matches that orange color just perfectly. I'm adding that to my sunnies and using um, a bone folder to smooth that out. Then I'm going to uh, peel that off to reveal some really uh, fun foiled sunglasses. I am gonna fill in some of the gaps and let that dry again, just so I can see if I can get a bit more coverage there. But I think it is fun to make it look a little bit more vintagey, a little bit more rough. Okay, I'm finishing my title off here because I want to kind of build some other elements around that. So I want to get that really put in place, adding some dimensional adhesive from behind that line. So now that I have my adhesive pretty much dry, I'm going to touch my foil back to those sunglasses to fill in those gaps. And I still really like the way that that looks. It's rough because I use that adhesive pen. Um, you could use actual gel. They have um, a duo gel that you can use instead. Um, but I really like the way it looks. It looks kind of vintagey and fun, similar to the products that I'm using on the page. Now I'm going to use the frames and I'm going to use the same blue cardstock that is on uh, the frame of my layout. Sort of tie those colors in together and I'm going to cut out those frames and frame my sunglasses. Such a fun little element to make um, on this set. So easy to make your own custom you know, sunglass dyes or eyeglasses if you wanted to make them eyeglasses instead. So I just really, really love this Shades of Summer stamp and metal dye combination. Really fun. And I'm just trying to find a great place to put that. It looks very similar to the sunglasses to the left there with the blue and the orange um, orange there. And just getting my title perfectly put in place here. Okay, I'm grabbing this plane from the Vicki Booten Let's Wonder collection. I love that it's that teal color so that it pulls a little bit of that teal from some of my sunglasses stamps there. And just popping it up with some dimensional adhesive. I love this combination of little elements here that's kind of framing that title. I'm gonna pop up my leaves back there. Those add a little bit of a shine as well. That leaf is foiled. And I thought this little tag needed some baker's twine. So I grabbed some uh, navy baker's twine to kind of put that on there. Just give a little bit of a different texture with some twine. 
And then I can pop that on the corner there. This crepe paper sticker sheet that I'm using is nearing the end of its life. And isn't that such a great feeling when you when you finish <laughs> your sticker sheet off? So I'm, I'm nearly there. But I want to put a couple more elements on here. Just, you know, a fun arrow, heart sticker, this little tab. Love, I love just adding little little layers of stickers here and there. They just add some fun, add a bit of color and some interest, right? So just putting those around there, just creating a really fun frame around the bottom corner of this beautiful photo. Last but not least, I'm adding a few enamel dots in the colors that I stamped my sunglasses around my embellishment groupings just to get something else, another another kind of texture, another shiny element on the page. I love it. Really love the way this one turned out. Cannot wait to add it to my album. I hope you enjoyed watching as I created this layout background by starting with stamps, this Tailored Expressions Shades of Summer stamp and metal die not only helped me create this awesome layout background, but a really fun element too, those um, sunglasses, that custom embellishment. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you'll check out this layout and so many more in the summer issue of Scrapbook and Cards today at the link in the video notes. Thanks so much for watching and happy creating.